What is up guys, the Cruise 51 and today we are back with a brand new season of Career Mode and it is going to be, this season is season 4 and also we have been offered a contract and we have joined Scuderia Ferrari and we can see we have got a lot of things on our hands to get up to where we have been with Mercedes as you can see with the vehicle performance there we are in 6th place and we are miles off our old team Mercedes if we want to get anywhere near them this season we've got to work hard so we got into practice and we were getting ready before all going through the day on the computer there is our um, teammate for this season Sebastian Bettel obviously we've replaced Kimi Raikkonen and um, um, we might see him come back in the future but at the moment we've took his spot and as you can see there was us going through all the stuff in the data with um, one of the mechanics and all that so yeah everything was looking good so we had hit to the track and everything seemed better we had perfect track conditions as you can see we're doing a, um, a track acclimatisation I can't say that there and then we've done our qualifying run and our tyre wear run which went well um, we are also on our qualifying run, you're about to see just in a second, um, we, were, we actually got in fifth, but we're a second off the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton on the super soft tyre, and Hamilton was on the softs, so yeah, that's going to have to show a big difference in what we've got to do this season, but we'll get there with Ferrari, but after that, now let's head to the qualifying. So we got into qualifying after that, all the work we did on the dry and it ended up being raining. So it was going to be interesting to see who would take con con um, the right call in the right conditions here. And it was obviously full wet tyres. Roman Grosjean got started off the season, the first lap of um, career mode season 4. And then our teammate Sebastian Vettel here, we can see what is he going to do as he comes in the final corner. Will he be able to beat Roman Grosjean as he crosses the line? Has he got enough speed? And the answer to that will be no, he is in second position, he misses out on um, first place at the moment. But um, yes, now we're going to see how we get on oil lap here. We're coming in the final corner, onto the straight, and we go P7 there. So it's a reasonable position for Ferrari at the moment. But as we went on to our um, end of our second lap, it was drying up, and we went on to intermediate tyres. We're well up on our time. Where did we finish? We went... P6 for the Australian Grand Prix. Game on. Let's go. As you can see, brand new intro there to Korean Mode Season 4, but we're here in the race today. We've qualified in 6th position. It has been fantastic for Ferrari this season to get a brilliant start, because Ferrari have been really unlucky in Season 3, also down the midfield and all that. But now, let's take a look at the grid. So we have got Lewis Hamilton, our old teammate, on pole position once again, followed by Carlos Sainz, 6 tenths ahead of him. Then comes Nico Rosberg, followed by Daniel Kvyat. The two Ferraris are Sebastian Vettel and us. Then comes Perez and Verstappen. Behind him is Guti Erez and Fernando Alonso. Then comes Julian Palmer with Philippe Massa behind him, Roman Grosjean and Valtteri Bottas, then comes Ryu Harianto, Kevin Magnussen, Pascal Wehrlein, Marcus Eriksson and behind him is Nico Hulkenberg quite down the field oh, and also Daniel Ricciardo, Jensen Button and Felipe Nasa. So we got going here in Australia to get this um, fourth season of Korean Woods started. We all got our tyres warmed up and all that and just taking our time to get used to this new feel of the Ferrari. But then as we come round to the final corner and we um, just about line well we're just lining up on their grid slot here to get ready for the lights coming on here so we can get this season and underway and what will happen this season guys there's gonna be a lot of things to see. Um at the end of the season also guys I want to vote which is better the best season, season three or four. It's, been, it's going to be quite close I think but at the moment you just don't know what is going to happen this season because remember it's a new era uh, well a new start for us in Ferrari so as you can see here the lights are coming on here to get the season 4 um, career mode under away and they are now under away here in Australia and it's been a good start from um, everyone there because see Sainz has took the lead into turn 1 we're going to try down the inside of his teammate but we've actually lost out to um, Perez there so you can see he's went round the outside and we're down to P7 now so we've lost the position off the line so that didn't work out well right at the start we seem to have a good gap um, back to 8 from our stopping down the inside there we give Perez a little tap I was a wee cheeky move from us can we go round the outside of Sergio Perez he gives us a little tap but we're still going side by side with the Mexican 
driver. Can we get him? Yes, we can. We're now up to P6 and we're below the start off. Just unlucky, we just didn't get a better start there. But now we're on the super soft tyres. We're trying a different strategy to everybody else to see how it pays off. And it was starting to pay off because now we're attacking Sebastian Vell, our teammate, for P5. As we come through the co next corner, we have went round the outside of our teammate and he's still there, but not enough to get us there. So brilliant stuff from our teammate giving us enough room. But as we now skip later on, this is our time. Tyre's starting to struggle. And Perez is starting to attack us here. He tries to go around the outside of us into that corner there. But he just couldn't do it because um, we just have the grip on the tyres. But as now you can see he's attacking us again onto the next lap. Can he get the move stick round the outside? He's going to try and fight us there. But can he do it? No, he can't. And he's now under attack from um, Max Verstappen, I believe, behind. Yes, it is. Max Verstappen tries down the inside but just can't do it. But now later on, Perez tries again at the exact same place and we are now in a four way tie and he, we just cut him off at that corner there but now he's hit us, Perez makes contact with us and we have completely almost spot, how did we, what the hell we never crashed into the barrier somehow we've managed to get well we did get a little bit down into our front wing somehow, some way we've managed to keep that out the barriers and from crashing out of this Australian Grand Prix whoa, holy god but luckily we were actually coming in for a pit stop that lap so it's not really a affected our strategy. We will lose about six seconds in the pits obviously due to the front wing change but as we now come in we get the speed limit are fine we don't want any drive throughs or anything like that so we can see how fast Ferrari are actually at with the pit stops apparently on this game they're probably the quickest team in real life I'd probably say it's Williams if everybody agrees but we're going to take a look at that replay in just a second we're just going to see where we're going to come out of the pits here in um, Australia but as you can see we've got um, quite a good stop there from the guys as we now come out of the pits here I don't think anyone's going to be around us if I'm mistaken I think we seem to have a good gap to everybody Felipe Nasser's behind us yes we do we come out the pits um, you can see the clouds are a bit overcast here there but we're now going to take a replay on what actually happened there so you can see we just got a tap from behind and how how we managed to keep out the barriers is unknown look so this is Mark Stappen's view well he just got lucky and Perez just he didn't think it's Perez just gave us a tap and look we were almost we were half sideways almost more than sideways there, but as we now skip later on, um, we've caught up to the train here, we're on a fight back now, down the inside we go, and we seem, oh my god, did you see the Haas there making a brilliant move on a couple of drivers, but then we've just come took advantage of them there and got past them, now, this is later on, Julian Palmer coming out the pits there, and you can see we've swooped round his outside, but not, it's not ended as how he would want it, and he's now spun backwards into the barriers, I don't know to see how, I have to see whose fault that was there, but I was kind of close one there, because I was at the outside, he was at the inside, he probably had no room to try and, had cold tires as well so he's got lack of grip on them as well but yes you can see we've got a different strategy the soft compound tires and you can see there was um, Palmer and he got lucky never had any damage but that's going to cost him a lot of time but as we now skip on to 11, lap 11 now we've set the fastest lap of the race these soft tires working well on our Ferrari cars we fly through the first corner getting back up into the points positions very very soon but as we now skip later on this is down the inside of Rio Harianto now we have to see what everyone's doing with their strategy obviously that um, six seconds might have cost us a little bit of time not too much there but as we now skip on once again later into the lap this is us making our move on Kevin Magnussen I believe this could be and yes it is we've got the power just down the inside to um, sweep past the Renault driver on the medium tyres there so next up would be oh, maybe not next up at the moment because we seem to have a Williams of Valtteri Bottas going up in smoke there and then um, that's a shame for him will that cause any virtual safety car and unfortunately it didn't but as we now skip later on we swooped around the outside of the Toro Rosso driver there off Carlos Sainz on the medium tyres so at the moment our strategy is working well but he's going to fight back and though it's not it's going to be um, Verstappen and it was oh, it was Vettel my mistake it was Vettel sorry guys I said it was me but first of them Verstappen spun there and it's unbelievable stuff but I was wrong I, I said it was me but um, I didn't mean to say that just it's so similar to and they can see what the hell was um, Ericsson doing but I was just mistaken there just was to mistake Versta um, Vettel and us but now this is us here as we um, skip later on into the Grumpy once again. We have swooped past the Toro Russell driver of um, Daniel Kvyat, I believe, into turn one. Before we can even get to turn one, we swooped back in front of him there. So brilliant stuff here. Our strategy is paying off. And now we have got a safety car at exactly the right time of the Grand Prix. Lap 21 of 29. And I don't think you guys have noticed this. It is actually starting to spit of rain. 
So we have got a big decision to make here and this was the reason why it was a safety car and you can see it was Carlos Sainz and oh massive shunt there from um, well Raquel, I don't know how that happened, he must have made contact with somebody a back marker and he's just got collected into Ricardo but now as we now skip later on this was us coming in for our pit stop here and we have decided to risk it and the team aren't ready for some reason that's going to cost us a couple seconds so everyone's pitted for um, them slicks so then we have pitted for wets well not wets but like enters basically and you can see I don't know if you can, no, if you can see it but there is spits coming down so we've kind of risked it we just don't know and you can see we're coming at the pits who are we going to get ahead of him quite a lot of people Alonso gets out ahead of us but we get ahead of Verstappen there so good stuff we're the only car on intermediate tyres at the last stage of the Grand Prix could we have a miracle and win this or even a chance of a podium I don't think we'll win it to be honest but um, maybe a chance of a top 5 even for Ferrari they've been so bad luck throughout season 2 and just to get even if it was a top 10 that would be fantastic because Ferrari are like backfield markers last year in season 2, the, well season 3 because they were getting like 16th and 15th and 14th and all and midfields and it just wasn't going for them but look it was going on there seemed to be Sebastian Vettel and us are on the game this year for Ferrari but um, yeah we just need to see how this race pans out and we need to see how um, if he made the right call or we haven't made the right call because at the moment look at the rain and look at the track it is getting damp so as we come through the, through the final corner this is where it's all about will we find out have we got the grip as we restart the Australian Grand Prix as we come around the final corner the grip seems fine at the moment we keep it smooth in the final corner there onto the kerb as we're now onto the street getting a slipstream of um, McLaren the McLaren of Fernando Alonso and into turn one we go there keeping it smooth and we can see the grip is okay I'd probably say we keep, seem to be keeping up Alonso which is um, um, at the moment is very positive as we're now onto the street will we make a move on the McLaren maybe down the inside but we just can't make it stick and it's also this position is up for 8th position as well guys we're in Ninth at the moment, so ninth is actually quite good for Ferrari, and we seem to be sticking with Alonso at the moment. And we have to see if we do gain time at any parts of the track. We don't want our tyres to fade out. We've got four laps remaining, guys. We skip the grass, um, hit the grass a little bit. They were going to the kerb, and we seem to just be keeping them there. So I don't know if this is like the exact same pace as the slick tyres. Um, I don't know, but uh, as you can see, we come through into the next corner, and um, we're keeping Alonso. You can see we get a little bit more better grip out that corner there, if you've noticed that, guys. So the intermediate tyres seem to be better out that corner. So that's one good fact, as you can see. Down the outside we go. Can we get the move stick? Yes, we can. Brilliant stuff there, and we're now up ahead of Alonso and McLaren to P8 and now later on our tyres are getting even better, it's coming even more promising, it's now down the inside we're going two cars off the four Cindy of Perez and it's going to be Felipe Massa, oh this is getting even more promising and you can see oh, well, Felipe Massa's day seems to be over now and this is later on, sector 3 yellow flag oh there's, oh my god that is so nerve wracking for Felipe Massa stranded in the middle of the circuit with so many cars coming his way as as you can see the replay loses it for some reason on the um, medium tyres and spins right across the track just misses the Renault of Kevin Magnussen and many cars behind him and Jensen Button actually hit Felipe Massa I wondered I did see him hit there and Button gets spun round as well and then gets cut, puts out of the gets um, sent out of the Grand Prix from Kevin Magnussen so I never knew that there but as we now skip later on look what is happening again guys we go round the outside of the four Sydney off Nico Hulkenberg I believe who it is yes it is rim the outside we go and now this is it once again as we skip later on we're behind our teammate Sebastian Vettel can we make a complete um, sweep round the outside and look at the grip we have on the medium tyres it's absolutely wonderful this is fantastic this Grand Prix it's starting to come into our hands as we come through into the quick left and then right hander and you can see look at the grip we've got more than Kvyat we have made the right choice here just hopefully the rain stays like this this is for third place guys Guys, down the inside we go and we can we keep it yes we do we're on the podium here in Australia for Ferrari and even Sebastian Vettel in the slicks for fifth is still really good yeah this is fantastic next up is the two Mercedes to take the win 
we never thought we would come anywhere near Mercedes in this race. And it looks like it seems to be happening here because we've caught them up the next lap. It's getting even better for us here. And now we're ahead of Nico Rosberg. Rosberg leaves the door a little bit open, hits the wall a tiny bit. And now, next up is Lewis Hamilton to take the win. We could take this win here in Australia. Oh my god, this is fantastic. And here we go. Here we go of Lewis Hamilton into the next car. We've took the lead, but Hamilton's not going to give this up. He's got the power, remember. Obviously, we upgraded that um, Mercedes at the end of the season. Well, but advantage, but we're now into the lead of the Australian Grand Prix with only one lap remaining. Unbelievable scenes here. We've touched the grass a little bit, but we're going to stay on board live with us at this final lap. Oh my god, if we could just pull away on this last lap from the Mercedes and give ourselves a little bit of breathing spot. And also Nico Rosberg could be on to take in second place because he's on the super soft tyres and Lewis Hamilton's on the softs. So Rosberg should be quicker there. But oh my god guys, honestly this has been the best career mode season opener I've actually ever made. Even from season 1, 2 and 3. I, I know you've seen it before and all the other ones, but come on guys, if you look, you look all the Australian Grand Prix I've done on Korean one, this has to be the one. Honestly, I don't think, this is this is fantastic, this is just the best way to open, hopefully, a fantastic Korean mode season. Um, as we now come through the end of Sector 1 there, we're keeping it smooth onto the kerb. And you can see, um, we're pulling away from Lewis Hamilton, who is still ahead of Nico Rosberg as we come through into the next corner now and you can see we're keeping it very smooth for the wet conditions and with Hamilton's lack of grip on his tyres obviously he's on the slick um, tyres and same with Nico Rosberg and at the moment intermediate tyres are the right way to go as we head into the final stages of the Grand Prix we're about to make F1 career mode history here as we come through onto the almost the penultimate straight now just about as we come through into the next corner this is absolutely remarkable here I would never have thought this is going to happen we come through into the quick right hand done now keeping it smooth we're not even wanting to risk making a mistake in these conditions one wee mistake one wee slip up could mean anything we go on board at the side view camera the final corner has been a yellow flag in sector two we'll take a replay on that after the race but we come through the final corner to take victory in albert park oh my god brilliant stuff we have won the season opener of career mode season four with ferrari oh my god God, we have done it. We have left left off where we finished in Abu Dhabi, just about now winning. Oh my God, how we've done that! That is amazing. We have won the first race of Career Mode Season Four with Ferrari. Our earliest victory has come with a team we would have never thought we were going to win so early in the season. Brilliant stuff, honestly. How how we've managed to done that? Do that is unbelievable. I can't believe it, honestly. The team is sixth in the vehicle comparison. How? Just how, honestly. But I do know, guys, we did get lucky today. We did get lucky. We have got massive improvements if you want any chance of doing what we have just done today and beating the Mercedes fair and square. But now, that's going to do us a lot there. We've got to take a replay on what happened there. Oh my god! What a. Well, actually, real life accident, well, real realistic accident, Alonso spinning and hitting Ricardo, so Alonso gets cut off by Ricardo, smashes into the wall and hits Ricardo and he goes up in the air, hits his rear tyre, so quite a weird and um, real realistic incident from actually on this game in the AI, Ricardo's view and you can see he just gets smacked in his rear tyre and both drivers were in the points there, they were in um, 7th and 8th I believe, so they've cost themselves a lot of points. But guys, there is your official result from today. Oh my god, honestly. Can we hit 25 likes on this video for Career Mode Season 4? The season opener it is back and it's going to be better than ever. So thank you so much for watching this first episode of Career Mode Season 4. There will be more better races to come, hopefully. Um, throughout this season but that's the video done for today guys as I said hit 25 likes in career mode hopefully we'll be out tomorrow or in the next day click the boxes on the screen to watch the last career mode episode and from season 2 and 1 and 3 also but yeah that's it from me here I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time